from Portland and tough chips off old blocks to Epsom and hard knocks off the old firm. This is the traditional scene at the classic of the horse racing year, the greatest race in the world, the Derby. All the fun of the fair and what you lose on the roundabouts, you win on the big race, if you're lucky. Hunters call it the race of the year, but not so far away in a neighbouring county, the race of the year is a very different affair, the Donkey Derby at Wivelsfield Green, Sussex. Dress is optional and many a chic fashion style starts at Wivelsfield, but there are no French entries neither in the fashion field nor in the race itself, so we poor British punters at least know something of the form. While mercenary types try to tell us a bird on the stick is worth a double on the course, donkey racing fans watch with expert eyes as officials inspect the lineup. There is, however, a serious side to the donkey derby, for the meeting is held in aid of the Sunshine Homes for Blind Babies and other charities. Thirteen entries for the two furlongs, hundred guineas handicap, give an unlucky number for punters to choose from for that last minute flutter. Into position, one way or another, the runners line up for the start. Each carries a jockey aged between 7 and 13 and a lot of young hopes. Another second or so, and they're off. Asham is hot favourite, but it's anybody's race so far with donkey chasing donkey and rider chasing donkey all the way. Towards the post now, and it's Nerf who romps home two lengths ahead of Ashen to win the 100 guineas prize money for the Chaley School for Crippled Children. A great race, particularly by some of the riders who ran nearly as fast as the donkeys. Who's a donkey?